All right, well tonight, the big question for parents, should they be prepared for their kids to be home from school in the next coming days? And would it be a full day off or could students be learning remotely? Our Kelly Dudzik asked some local districts about it tonight. Well, the most important thing to us is making sure that we make decisions that keep people safe. I went to Hamburg today to talk with Superintendent Michael Cornell. He's also the president of the Erie Niagara School Superintendents Association. So I expect superintendents to be in closer touch over the course of the day on Thursday and um, we'll see how solid the forecast looks for Friday and uh, make a decision about um, whether or not to cancel school and then you know when do we make that decision. Do we do it on Thursday? Do we wait on and do it on Friday morning? I asked Buffalo Public Schools what the plan is for Friday and this afternoon a spokesperson told me the district is evaluating all contingencies and will make decisions that are clearly communicated in a timely fashion to protect the safety and security of our students, staff and community. So we don't know when a decision will come yet from Western New York's largest district. This morning, the Amherst Central School District emailed families saying if they use a snow day this week, it will not include remote learning. I talked with Superintendent Mark Laurie with Niagara Falls City Schools today. He told me there's no decision yet for his district, but if they do remote learning Friday, ideally they'd make a decision by one tomorrow afternoon so the kids could bring their laptops and charging cords home. If there's a traditional snow day Friday in Niagara Falls, Lori would want to make that decision around 6 tomorrow night to get it on the news or by 8 p.m. at the latest. Meanwhile, if Superintendent Cornell cancels Friday classes, it's going to be a traditional snow day with no remote learning. He says most of his colleagues will end up doing the same. A lot has changed in the world in the last 50 years. One of the things that hasn't changed is everybody loves a good snow day. In Hamburg, Kelly Dodzik, Channel 2 News.